Well, thanks for watching this episode of Revelations. I'm Pastor Chuck Reese, your show host and executive producer. This is a series all about evangelism and discipleship, and we're highlighting ministries all around the world that are serious about doing just that. Today, we're in Greenwood, South Carolina, visiting Connie Maxwell Children's Home, and with me is Randy Harling, the president of the ministry. Randy, thank you so much for letting Annette and I spend a couple days with you guys. Thank you, Chuck. It's our pleasure. Well, I know this has been around a while, so tell our viewers a little bit about the history, the ministry mission that you guys are on here. We are over 100 years old as an agency, and it goes all the way back to a family in Greenwood, a doctor um, who um, had one child. Her name was Connie, and uh, she unfortunately died at age eight of, of scarlet fever. And uh, at that point, the family decided to donate this entire tract of land, which was their farm, to the Baptist Convention of South Carolina under the stipulation that they would always use it to have a place, a home for children who had no parents or who, for whatever reason, needed to be in residential care. So it's operated for over 100 years. Out of tragedy has come uh, a great blessing to thousands of children. And yeah. so here we are. Our mission is to be a, a Christ-centered home for any child that God sends our way. Yeah. The heartbeat, how would you describe the heartbeat of the ministry? Heartbeat of the ministry is we want to be faithful to God and what He has entrusted to us. Although we are a, a time-honored institution, uh, we want to operate more like a, a missional movement of God, which will be flexible and to seize new opportunities that come our way. Well, we're here in Greenwood, South Carolina. I understand there's several locations. Talk about that. There are. We have locations across the state. They're counting this one, Chuck, there's six in all. They all do the same process. We house and care for boys and girls age five through senior in high school. Yeah, and they probably come from a variety of circumstances and situations, I bet. They sure do. Some are wards of the state. Uh, they've been removed from their homes uh, by our Department of Social Services. Some are private placement, uh, which means a family member who is still the guardian of these children will place them here for a variety of reasons. Abuse, neglect, not having the means to take care of these children in many cases. Yeah. They do come for a variety of reasons. So it's the modern day orphan like James talks about, right? Not to be a hearer of the word, but a doer of the word. So you guys are seeing urgent needs. And you're also able to minister to the whole family from, from this point. We are, especially where it is a private placement, as we say oftentimes, the grandparents or the parent or an aunt and uncle are still involved and we can try to reach them and minister to them. And so it is, it's, it's a mission field more than it is just a, a ministry point. Yeah, amen to that. Hey, keep watching, we're gonna get some more interviews so you can learn about how the Lord is using Connie Maxwell Children's Home in these last days. If you know of a ministry that we need to know about, please give us a call, 888-641-8606, or take a look at our website, revelationstv.org. Well, thanks for continuing to watch this episode of Revelations. We're here in Greenwood, South Carolina, visiting Connie Maxwell Children's Home with me, the president, Randy Harling. Randy, when we talk about evangelism, you know, sharing the gospel, it's probably pretty easy uh, word and deed in a ministry like this. Tell us a little bit about the perspective of uh, the ministry sharing the gospel. Well, it, it sure is. You know, our children, Chuck, come in in a variety of emotional uh, situations as well as a variety of spiritual situations. Some come and they already know Christ, yeah. thankfully. Uh, many do not though. It's more of an assessment time uh, just to, to locate, you know, where they are and what that trust level is because, you know, faith is so tied to trust and many come in and they're in such a broken state and all that they really do not trust an adult. And then when they hear the concept of God as their father, many times that's not a positive uh, connotation either. So right. uh, a lot of the strategy is just finding out, finding the terms and the vocabulary yeah. to be able to talk in such a, a way that they will uh, lower their defenses to, to even trust in, in a God who, who is actually good and not a God who's just wanting to, to judge them and to, um, 
and to hurt them. Yeah, and of course you have the family setting. Talk about the environment with house parents and you have time, so it's throughout the whole day. It's not like you have to get it all in on a Sunday morning service. That's right, that's only a small part of it. I think that uh, it's a seven day a week uh, process, the evangelism is. We have uh, devotions every morning where our cottage parents actually lead that. In addition to the uh, Sundays, there's uh, typically a Sunday night uh, Bible study that our pastor here on our campus conducts or a Wednesday night Bible study. There's a lot of one-on-one lot of -on -one interaction, uh, yeah. whether it's on the farm, learning how to ride a horse, whether it's doing chores yeah. in the home, whether it's playing basketball in the gymnasium, that lifestyle evangelism. Yeah, that's what we see as a, the secret sauce. It's word and deed, love and action, and at the end of the day, it's relational evangelism. That's right. Yeah. Sure so, is. Uh, Hey, keep watching. We're going to get some more interviews from some of the house parents and some of the staff, even some of the kids who've been here at Connie Maxwell Children's Home to see how the Lord is using this ministry to share the gospel in word and deed. If you know of a ministry that we need to know about, please give us a call, 888-641-8606, or take a look at our website, revelationstv.org. Well, thanks for continuing to watch this episode of Revelations. We're talking about discipleship here at the Connie Maxwell Children's Home in Greenwood, South Carolina. The president, Randy Harling, talking with me. Discipleship's a process, right? You get saved, sealed with the Holy Spirit, but man, learning how to be a disciple takes some time. It sure is, and uh, that's, a, that's a process for adults and children. <laughs> and I hope that uh, that is what we're seeing here. I hope that it's a uh, top-down, because you know the president of Connie Maxwell needs discipling also. <laughs> and the type of discipleship that, as you know, being a relational thing, it's, it's yeah. impossible to disciple a person right. without a relationship. Right. And uh, as Jesus modeled it with his 12, right. we hope to do that here. And that's, um, there is the instruction, the classroom instruction with our church that's here on campus with the teaching segments. But also then there's the, uh, let me model how to live the Christian life right. from the adults, from the cottage parents right on down. And then there's the let's do it together, whether right. we're working. We're trying to teach our children that part of the Christian life is actually being a missionary themselves. Because it's so easy here to get into that mindset of, you know, everybody's serving us and everyone is giving to us in a benevolent right. situation. But what we want our children to understand is they are givers. Right. They're not just takers. So that is a let's do it with you. And then the final stage I think that Jesus taught is, I'm going to send you out, right. uh, whether it's something simple here in Greenwood or whether it's uh, to Mexico on a mission trip with right. our older kids. Right. Um, we hope to, to see that uh, and to do that as the process of, of that discipling. You know, as I said, our adults um, uh, are challenged to be actively engaged, right. not only in the clinical therapeutic performance that they need to have to stay certified, but also in the spiritual component which is, are you growing in Christ yourself? Right. Are you trying to take these children where you're not living? Right, servant leader. So mm -hmm. they're being a servant leader and you're teaching them to be servant leaders. And you know, hey, they're going to school too in a, in a public school setting here in town. So mm -hmm. they're not really totally surrounded by Christianese the whole 24 hours during the day. Yeah, and Chuck, that's a great point. Matter of fact, in 2015, what we hope to launch is a mentoring program, which will actually use community people to come in, not just us, but uh, to have uh, an adult male introduced to two of our teenage boys yeah. and just build a relationship with a, a purpose behind it, but more of a, a caught, not taught right. philosophy of discipling because I think the more they see of godly people outside of here who are just coming because they want to be involved in their lives, we think that when they transition out, right. then they're more apt to, to to continue with that that mode. Yeah, what I love about this ministry too is it's a holistic approach, physically, spiritually, and emotionally. You're teaching them how to work. There's mm -hmm. assignments. It's more than just uh, sitting around the house and taking care of 
housing yeah. duties, right? So That's a great point because, you know, part of discipleship is being a steward, right. a steward of your time and your, and your assets and your skills and your gifts. That's one thing I think that is and has been a strength here at Connie Maxwell is that when a child leaves here, typically he or she will have a pretty good handle on how to manage their money and also how to get things done in the course of a day between homework and chores, the spiritual study component and, and all of those things, the relational part can't be neglected. So they're hopefully becoming stewards of what they have been given uh, as they are here. My wife and I was talking, did the phrase uh, get her done, was that birth here? <laughs> no, but uh, it could have been. <laughs> so learning how to work, and how to study hard, get a job, keep a job, and like you said, this is a, it's a launching pad more than a landing pad. That's right. Chuck, we're hoping that uh, that same process is now going to spread into what we call our family care. The family care model is where we're actually inviting mothers to come live on our campus with their children and it's much the same process, the uh, coming uh, to Christ, the connection to Christ, and then from that springing the uh, time management, parenting skills, the management of money, finishing a high school education if yeah. they don't have that, acquiring a job, being gainfully employed, and then a year and a half later when they leave us, they're self-sufficient as the world would say, but what we hope is they're, they're Christ dependent to where their sufficiency comes from Christ. Amen. Keep watching. We're going to talk a little bit more about discipleship, how the Lord is using Connie Maxwell Children Home to make disciples and disciple makers. Keep watching. If you know of a ministry that we need to know about, please give us a call, 888-641-8606, or take a look at our website, revelationstv.org. Thanks for continuing to watch this episode of Revelations. We're hoping by now you've had a few. God is still working and is a part for you to be playing in the body of Christ. As we talk with Randy Harling, the president for Connie Maxwell Children's Home, I'm sure by now the Holy Spirit is tugging on somebody's heart, hey, I want to get involved and serve. So how could people get plugged in in a ministry like this? Sure, thanks for asking. Well, we as, uh, as most faith-based organizations, um, we exist due to the generosity of those who support our ministry. Uh, very little of our budget now comes from the state of South Carolina or e even our um, convention, the Baptist Convention. There have been severe cutbacks uh, across the board as, as many of you probably know there. Yeah. So we exist due to just uh, monthly gifts of individuals and churches and even some corporate uh, level sponsorships that come. Yeah. And so that's that's first and foremost is to consider maybe in, in addition to above your tithe to your local church of what God would, would have you do as a partner financially in this ministry uh, which will live forever eternally. Another is if, if uh, you're in close enough within one of our locations there's just a variety of volunteer needs from light construction uh, to needs with these homes uh, we have beautiful homes here. The newest home that we have here in Greenwood is 36 years old. Yeah. So there's a lot of maintenance needs and a lot of leaky roofs and a lot of peeling paint um, that when a volunteer group comes in to help us with that, that's cash that we do not have to spend. Right, so time, sure. treasure, and talents. Everybody's right. got something to offer. I'm sure you're looking for some good house parents too. We are. We, we always are, are needing uh, good house parents who feel called to do that. The other thing is a prayer network. I would love to see, and I think we're going to get there next year of the day when, when a child comes to Connie Maxwell, he or she will be surrounded by 50 adults uh, across this region just who pray specifically as given by us prayer points for that child until he or she leaves here. And I just have to believe that in the, in the, the uh, warfare realm, uh, where some of these children have been so victimized and, and so traumatized, that that will be um, the greatest thing that somebody could do is just to commit to pray for that, that child's soul and for their future, uh, as long as they're here. Amen. Keep watching. We're going to talk about ways that you can get involved and support a ministry like Connie Maxwell Children's Home. If 
you know of a ministry that we need to know about, please give us a call, 888-641-8606, or take a look at our website, revelationstv.org. Well, I want to thank our viewers one last time for watching this episode of Revelations. And Randy, again, thanks for letting us tell your story of what God's doing on the front lines here. Well, thank you, Chuck. It's been a pleasure. You have an amazing team. It certainly takes a lot of people to, to minister to, to kids, that's for sure. Well, we do, and, and uh, we feel like God's uniquely placed all of them in, in the slots that they're in, too. Yeah, amen. Well, I'd love an opportunity with our viewers watching to pray together in one accord and ask God to uh, sure. establish some partnerships within the body of Christ. Father God, Lord Jesus, thank you for this Holy Spirit you've poured out that lives in us, that moves us to acts of compassion. We thank you for Connie Maxwell Children's Home and uh, the work you've started here and faithful to complete. We thank you for the board and all the house parents and the staff, the administrators, and Lord, all the moving parts. We pray now in one accord with our viewers watching that, Lord, if there's some partnerships on the horizon, that you would help us uh, co-labor together for your glory, for your good namesake, and for your purposes and your good pleasure. So we pray that you would show us our next steps as we take this ministry to the next level. Lord, you know the, the needs are great and uh, resources are, are few. So we pray for an increase. We pray for business partners to come alongside with, with dollars and resources to help fund uh, some of the building projects and and some of the repairs and, and also salaries that it takes to, uh, to fund these house parents, these cottage parents. So Lord, we just pray for blessings from above and we pray for all this in the mighty name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen, 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 amen. Hey, until our next episode of Revelations, may you and your families be blessed.